our hearts are just so tired of being broken. Paige Moore would have just turned 22. She was still with her family today. Yeah. She left when she was 17. Yeah. She just turned 17 and uh, now poor baby. Instead, her family and friends gathered yesterday at Knee High's Park to commemorate her disappearance, sharing memories of their funny, opinionated, one-of-a-kind Paige. It feels like a dream, kind of. Like, you never think that something like that's going to happen to somebody you know, I guess. They can't help but to remember July 10th, 2012, the day everything changed. So they came to my house, and that's how I at first heard about it. Her parents went house to house after she never made it to summer school that morning. I sat down with them in May when they vowed to make this anniversary the one to bring answers. Anything, no matter how small you think it is, it could be. It could be the one tip that helps bring her home. Her brother introducing me to Paige's niece she's never met. Every time I pray, I find myself crying sometimes through prayer because I, I pray that she does come back. The mood today is somber for most, but for her parents. Frustrated. Frustrated that uh, it's been five years and we feel like we don't have the support of law enforcement. Now using the support of their loved ones to take matters into their own hands raising money for a reward for information and possibly a private investigator. Some of the stories we've heard, you just can't get those out of your mind. They know someone knows something and they refuse to give up until they know what that something is. She has a lot of family and friends that miss her and love her tremendously. And if she by chance does see this, we just we want her to know that we're not upset with her at all, at all. She's always welcome to come home, always.